While TJ consumes a donut, I'll kick this one off with one of my favorite games from back in the day and one of my favorite series. It's Final Fantasy Tactics, released by Squaresoft back in 1997 for the original PlayStation, a game that I played all the way through back when I was in college and other people looked at it like, this isn't Final Fantasy VII, what are you playing? It's Final Fantasy Tactics, it's just as good but in a different way. Exactly. <laughs> 1997, Square was riding the coattails of Final Fantasy VII, which had just blown up in the US in a way that no Japanese RPG had ever done before. So it was natural that they'd take their tactical RPG project and bring it into a realm that we gamers in the West only knew as the domain of the Shining Force series, Tactics Ogre, and for the few who actually imported it, Square's own Front Mission series. And I'm one of the many who bought this game because I had just played Final Fantasy VII when it was brand new and was, of course, blown away just like everyone else, and was surprised to find this really had very little in common with Final Fantasy VII, but it was equally enjoyable. Yeah, actually, when you get right down to it, the way the job system works here in Tactics, it's most like Final Fantasy V. I'll take your word on that one. <laughs> exactly, because at the time, no one in America had heard of Final Fantasy V. We were still reeling over the fact that we just went one, two, three, seven. But the crux of the game, when you dig through piles and piles of admittedly poorly translated political intrigue, is an awesome system of mechanics centering around the manipulation of abilities tied to some of the classic and most iconic Final Fantasy jobs. The original Final Fantasy Tactics release for the PlayStation 1 is quite a collector's item, and that's the copy that I actually played back in the game. I think my old roommate still has that. Don't sell it. But you can pick it up as a Final Fantasy Tactics Greatest Hits disc for the PlayStation 1, which works on your PS3 and PlayStation 2. And this isn't terribly expensive to collect. And wasn't this also released for the PSP? It was. It was actually remade as Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions and included much more integration with Final Fantasy 12, since they're all kind of tied together in this Evilist Alliance overarching theme. I'll take your word on that one. You're far more familiar with this series than I am, but this is just a extremely fun game if you're into turn-based tactical strategy with great magical attacks, yes. fantastic characters. I personally wasn't too into the storyline, that's more of your thing, but I just loved the gameplay. And it was so much fun finding Cloud and using the internet to figure out some kind of game secrets way back in the day, before that was common. Absolutely. The only thing it needs is blue mages. So there you have it. If you enjoy turn-based tactical strategy RPG style games, if you've enjoyed series like Vandal Hearts or any of the ones that TJ mentioned, you've got to play Final Fantasy Tactics for the original PlayStation. Makes me miss raining chocobos out of the sky on people. I like think the there are EPA attack. regulations against that now. That was the best attack. How do you do that in real life? I'd use a trebuchet. Damn, it doesn't work. I'm going to drop chocobos on TJ next time. Ah, oh, we can edit that in. <laughs> it's a PlayStation game. It doesn't work like that.